In this presentation, we're going to discuss about commands dv and dot frame. So before we start, we have to take care of a couple of points. dv and dot frame commands are not very effective when the optimization is heavy or calling convention is not supported. For example, fast calling convention and calling conventions similar to that, like 64-bit calling convention, dv won't work. Normally dot frame command is tightly coupled with dv because that is normally you do after dot frame you do a dv to see the parameters and the local variables so this limits the use of dot frame command as well so things in this particular presentation works best in the case of x86 calling convention with each frame has the saved ebp which means that there is no frame pointer optimization in which case the EBP is not saved on the stack so this is a hierarchy of a system from a stack frame standpoint so this is a computer or Windows operating system we can see these are the different processes running inside that operating system so process 1, process 2 for example, Notepad or WinWord, etc. So each processes contain different threads. Each thread has a call stack. And a call stack has multiple stack frames. So what are the contents of a stack frame? Stack frame contains the arguments passed, a written address, saved EBP, and local variables. As I mentioned, this is not true in the case of 64-bit calling convention or fast calling convention. So dot frame is a command to switch to the given frame. So we're going to see that. So dot frame, frame number, that is the syntax. Once that is done, to see the parameters passed and the local variables, you can type the command dv. There are different switches for dv. We're going to see one or two. Normally what I do personally is use the command km which has the DML for both dot frame and DV campaign. We're gonna use this in the demo. KM K capital M. It is K sensitive. So I have an application developed in Visual Studio. So it's a pretty lame application. So it has four functions one calls the other so make sure that your build is not a release build for this exercise because if you do a release build most of these things will get optimized you won't even see any of this variable so this is a debug build so there is no optimization so you will be able to see these variables so the application is under execution and I have hit this breakpoint as you can see here the output is printed so this is this particular print statement I'm going to type the command km as I mentioned so this has the DML so if I click on the DML I clicked on this 00, zero which is the 0 frame so it executed this particular command. If you want, you can do it manually as well. So you'll get the same result. So the local variables, as you can see here, uh, the order has slightly changed. It is 2143, but the values are same. And you can see the parameters passed as well. Like that, you can go to any frame and see that particular stack frame. So this is dot frame 2 which is function 2 and the arguments passed. So if I click on this I have a problem here. Unable to enumerate locals. Why is that? Because kernel 32 is a binary which is from Microsoft I have only access to the public symbols of 
kernel 32. In the public symbols of Microsoft, they don't have the information of local variables and arguments passed. So I cannot use this syntax to see the parameters. Still KVN works though. But in that case, you should know what exactly the parameters this function takes. Maybe this function takes no parameter. We don't know. And unless you reverse engineer that function. So we have seen stack frame. And what are the different components of stack frame in the stack? Also, we have seen dot frame and a DB command with the help of KM, K capital M. And that's it. Thank you very much.